let's talk about uh, cricket. Cricket um, is another one that has the potentials of uh, opening doors and opening opportunities for a lot of people in Nigeria. Um, a former vice president of the Nigeria Cricket Association, uh, Chuba Noseke, has been speaking uh, about um, giving cricket the right kind of support um, in the country so that cricket can also gain ground the way football, athletics, basketball, wrestling have gained some grounds. Um, and also believes that sc the schools hold the key to uh, providing this kind of foundation for cricket to develop in Nigeria and for us to have talents that can take the game to the next level. It's difficult to put one's finger on it, but I think there's been a decline. I think two people generally accept that the indices obviously support that we have demoted um, Syria over the last three years. Uh, we're now back in the African League from where we were a few years ago. So clearly there's something wrong. It could be with administration. Perhaps maybe government needs to uh, look into that area as well. Um, you know, uh, and I think the stakeholders, some of the stakeholders have perhaps not given the kind of time they should. And uh, there have been issues over the years, some of which I think are public knowledge as well. You know, uh, but I think it's something we should, uh, as stakeholders, look at seriously. Because uh, if there's any further decline, then, you know, I think it might, it might not occur well for the future of the game. I remember a few years ago, uh, when we were on board, um, there was a plan to basically take Nigeria from where it started off an affiliate country, and then the West Africa system, and we became an associate, and with the plan was to evolve to one day playing side. Uh, we believed at the time that there was sufficient talent and then the vision was there, and uh, things were put in place to actualize that vision. But unfortunately, when we left the board, I don't really don't know what happened. NCF, as the primary administrative body for cricket at national level, has to do something. The government has to get involved. Stakeholders have to get involved because if this rot and the slide continues, then um, we can find ourselves back uh, to where we were, maybe perhaps in the 70s or worse. You know, when we were, you know, I hear now Ghana is not right ahead of us. I mean, that's, that's a total aberration, you know. At the time we, we left the board, we were playing teams in East Africa, you know, with the aspiration to move down to South Africa and so on, and uh, engage with teams in that sort of zone, to bring us back to West Africa, where we have a couple of countries ahead of us. For me, that's, uh, that, that's really sad. What we've tried to do in the Southeast, particularly in Anambra and a couple of other states, is to try and get the schools playing cricket, donating equipment and so on, sending coaches in there. Because you catch them at that stage, the interest is there, that's one. And then in terms of developing the skill level and skill sets they need, you can start early. Because it's harder to train a 17-year-old or an 18-year-old than it is to train an 11-year-old. But I think what needs to happen now is that those who truly love the game need to realize that if the rot continues, then the game is going to be dead. So whatever issues that I have to put aside, come together and rescue the game.